Hey guys, it's Russell back with DieselGiant.com and on today's video we're going to be cutting open an Amsoil bypass oil filter element. This is the BP or the EA BP100. There's a BP90 that's a little bit smaller than the BP100 which is this and then there's a 110 which is even bigger. This element was on the 2001 Dodge Ram with the Cummins as you've seen in many of my videos for about two years. I change this element once every other full flow filter change. So right now my schedule is I change the full flow every year and then the bypass every two years. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to be using the Long Anchor Long Acre uh, oil filter cutter. I highly highly recommend that you guys pick one of these up um, just Google it to find out the place that has the best price. But you should always open your oil filters when you change them to see what's going on inside your engine. So, I'm going to get me a piece of... This is always a good trick. <clears throat> when you're changing your oil and you're finding the oil filter hard to grip, or maybe you don't have a wrench that's big enough, you can always take a piece of sandpaper that's got the sticky back, the adhesive back, and just it allows you to put a really good grip on here. So I'm going to spin this around. Okay, looks like we've got separation here. All right, so um, obviously this is the part that attaches. This is the it's called the head of the element. This is very heavy. Um, it's a very, very heavy construction. There's the uh, back side of it. This is the side that would be attached to the uh, filter mounting head, and here's your gasket right here. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing you notice is the silicone anti-drain back valve. That's kind of funny that, well, I guess it's not funny, but most of the time people mount these um, like this, so the anti-drain back valve is not needed, but if you ever, you can mount these in any position, if you mount it upside down or sideways, uh, this does help the oil from draining out of the filter. So, I'm going to lift the cartridge portion right out. And this looks, to the naked eye, it looks very similar to uh, the other, if you can go back and look at the video where I took out the um, element of the regular filter. And what I do is I just open these pleats and see if there's anything in there that's visible to the naked eye. This filter, I believe, filters down to like one micron or so. Um, absolutely nothing in here that I can see. Obviously there's microscopic particles of iron and whatever else that was in the oil that it pulled out. This is one of the reasons that you can greatly extend your oil drain interval. Um, like I said before, the oil was in, and as you see the oil is not even, I mean it's it's got a slightly gray appearance to it, but it's not that black, black, black oil you see in a lot of diesels. Um, this will allow you to extend your drain interval, but even if you don't want to extend your drain interval and you want to change it every 10,000, 5,000, 1,000, it doesn't matter. The reason that you want this on your car or your truck is because it pulls out so many of the contaminants that cause wear. All right, a regular full flow filter is only going to filter down to around, you know, 25 to 40 microns or so because it has to maintain a very 
high flow rate to keep the engine lubricated because all the oil in the engine has to go through there very rapidly and a bypass filter diverts part of the oil like around 10 percent that goes through the full flow directs it into the bypass and this will filter down to about one micron and some people may ask well why can't I just use this well the problem is the oil can't flow through here fast enough uh, if this was the only filter you had because uh, it's got a filter down to one micron and it would get clogged up a lot quicker so the full flow filter is taking out the really if you want to think about it this way the really big chunks the gravel the boulders and this is taking out the fine particles uh, obviously it doesn't get everything and no contrary to popular myth that you read on the internet bypass filters do not take out the additives at all the additive particles in here are so small that would you'd have to have a centrifuge to take it out but the back of the filter is just a solid plate um, now you're not going to have a um, well yeah you do I don't, you're not going to be able to see this on the camera but uh, this has got the same kind of pattern um, it's got kind of a spiral pattern with, uh, with perforated holes in the tube. Now inside the canister itself is the pressure relief valve, if you want to call it that. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to the filter. This is the first time I have ever cut one of these BP 100s, or actually the first time I've cut any bypass filter open. I'm very pleased. This is a very heavy construction. Uh, both of these caps look, appear to be made out of uh, probably a stamped steel. Uh, let's see if the magnet, the magnet will hit on it. Okay, so it is, it is a ferrous metal. It's not aluminum. Uh, the pleats, it's got a very tight pleat structure. These are, I believe, Amsoil's nanofiber technology in here. Right here is where the pleat seam is. And it appears that the top and bottom cap covers are secured to the pleats with uh, what looks like maybe an epoxy. So this is a very, very strong um, unit. It's very robust. So I think what I'll do, because I'm just curious, let's cut open this pleat and unspread and see what we've got. I'm going to take a uh, razor blade and I'm just going to cut this open. I didn't do this on the last one, my full flow. Oh, this stuff is tough. I don't know if my razor is going deep enough in there. So I'm not trying to cut the entire thing out, I'm just trying to cut a section of it. Let me get some uh, some pliers and I'll see if I can pull these pleats out. Well these okay there we go. Okay, so, um, you know, if you wanted to, you could take the entire pleat structure out. It'll probably go ahead and pull it out, but I'm going to rip this here. To, uh, I want to look at the back side of it. Okay. So there it is. And there's the... There's the core. 
this is a this is a very dense material. It's it um, it appears to be multi-layered. Just from uh, here's one of the layers, which wouldn't surprise me at all that it, um, that you would want that. It's probably there's probably a a different micron rating to each layer. Um, I'm not going to be able to pull these apart, really. But that's obviously the first layer. But there's, you know, there's nothing visible in here. So, now the question is, you know, how long could I have run this filter? Um, you know, Amsoil recommends you change these if you're doing oil analysis. The bypass filters every other full flow filter. Um, and you know really if you're not driving a lot of miles you're, you're asking well you know the filter still looks good but part of this filters filtration is it's taking moisture out so that we can't see if there are moisture molecules in here and I think that's one of the um, reasons that you would want to change it even if you didn't drive a lot if if you went like I did two years so these filters are, they're not cheap. They're about, I don't know, I think this filter is about 35, 30, 35 bucks. But, you know, that's, what, eight, about 18, 17, 50 per year. So, um, and think about it, I ran the oil in this truck for five years and it was still good on my last little oil analysis, the oil's still fine. Um, if you didn't watch the other video, I went ahead and dumped that oil because I wanted to try the Series 3000 5W30 to see if I could pick up a few more miles per gallon. And I'll do oil analysis and we'll do videos and cut the filters open when I get to that point to changing it. But um, this oil, the, the regular heavy duty Amsoil 15W40 that I've used in this truck for about almost 10 years is, is a great oil. It's, it's awesome. Uh, but I wanted to see if I could pick up a few more miles per gallon, and that Series 3000 5W30 is plenty robust. It, it's actually more robust than the 1540. It's newer technology, the oil. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys uh, learned something. It's kind of neat to cut things open like this and see what's in there. I'm very impressed with the, with the construction. It looks to be of very high quality, and I can kind of could kind of tell that by uh, the weight of the filter. It's quite heavy. So uh, you guys, I would you know I keep saying this, but cut your filters open when you change them, because if you've got a problem you may not realize, uh, and you see you know you see a lot of maybe copper particles or or something like that, you know aluminum, maybe some iron ferrous particles. You may want to investigate further. Or do an oil analysis to see what's going on with your engine. But this is Russell and I will see you guys on the next video.